Okay, I'm back. Man, that was good stuff. Oh cool, now I get to talk about food too. China did a great deal of farming. Their main crop was rice. They developed some unique farming techniques to grow it. Rice requires a lot of water to grow, so they would flood their farms on purpose for it. They built irrigation niches, kind of like aqueducts, but in the ground, to move water out into their farms. It was kind of like early sprinklers I guess. Pretty cool stuff. So far the stuff we've talked about has happened at different times in China's history. With this section we'll try to put some order to it all. Many years after the Qin Emperor unified China a new dynasty to cover, they were the Han. What happened? Um... You just gave away our position! Now we're... Sure, save the horse. The attacks on the Han caused great stress to the people of China. As the dynasty fell the people felt hopeless. They started to give up Confucianism because its focus on behavior and manners seemed like a waste when they were being attacked. It was at this time that Buddhism really began to grow in China. The people figured, hey we are suffering already let's follow this philosophy that teaches us how to deal with that. They hoped that Buddhism would help end their suffering. In a small way it did. It started to give China a common focus that started the path of unity again. One other big step made in trying to rebuild the government was a change to a meritocracy. Since the dynasties had failed the Chinese were looking for a better way to find leaders. They made it so you had to earn your way into the government, you couldn't just be born into it anymore. This meant the people working in government had to show their abilities. Makes sense to me. These people were called scholar officials which showed how important education was. To become a scholar official one had to study for years, sometimes up to 20, and pass a bunch of incredibly tough tests. Did you hear me? I said years. These tests took hours. You'd be locked in a little room, and not have any breaks, until you were finished. These tests mostly covered Confucian teachings, so once again they emphasized the importance of behavior, ancestors and education. There are many stories of students cheating on the test. Some bribed test graders, some wrote notes in the folds of their robes and some sent text messages to each other with the answers. Oh wait, that's you guys. Anyone caught cheating on the test was killed. Yeah, seriously, killed. You think getting a zero is bad? Once they were a unified China returned to many of the projects they had begun before, notably the Great Wall. Did you know some JMS students went to China in 2008? Seriously. That's a picture of some of them on the Great Wall. Pretty cool, huh? To the north of present-day Mongolia, nomadic warriors raided Qin settlements along the frontier. The first emperor responded with an army of 200,000 convicts and 100,000 troops. Their mission? To build a barrier unique in all the world. 
the Great Wall of China. Over the course of 10 arduous years, thousands of men perished from exposure and fatigue. Their hobbled, broken bodies were added as fill. Their only tombstone, the wall that consumed their lives. The Great Wall of China was a monument to dynastic might. It stretched from the lowest deserts to heights of over 6,000 feet. Sections of new wall connected barriers built by earlier dynasties to create a wonder that spans 2,600 miles. It's even visible to astronauts in space. The Great Wall stood as a warning to outsiders that China was at last a unified kingdom. The wall started being connected during the Qin Dynasty. Some parts had been built many years before, but they were not connected. They were built to defend the northern part of China, which is open and unprotected. At first it was the Huns and later the Mongolians. Many dynasties throughout history added new sections and rebuilt old ones to strengthen the wall. It really is quite an amazing thing. The Great Wall of China was begun nearly 2,000 years ago in order to repel barbarian invaders. But these pogo sticks will finally make it over. <laughs> All right, everyone take a break and come back Monday with five fresh ideas. Can't make it Monday. My kid has a thing. And that's it for China. Man, that was some good stuff. I'll be back in a few days for the lecture of Japan. That will be fun. Goodbye.